Hello dear students, in this video about states of matter, we are going to discuss about melting point, boiling point and heating curve. Now, in the previous video, we have discussed about changes in states of matter, wherein, wherein we mentioned about change from solid to liquid is called as melting. Now, how much energy I need to provide to the substance so that it starts melting. For that, I need to take in consideration the melting point of the substance. What is melting point? It is nothing but the temperature at which solid substances turns into liquid. We know that ice, it melts at 0 degree Celsius. So, when I talk about a regu regular refrigerator, it has the temperature around minus 5 to minus 10 degree Celsius. At that temperature, liquid water is frozen to ice. When I take that ice out from the refrigerator, it starts taking the temperature or energy from the surrounding and to reach equilibrium, it starts increasing its own energy. So, its temperature starts rising from, let's say, minus 10 to minus 5 to minus 3, minus 1 and 0. At 0 degree Celsius, first molecule of ice turns into liquid as it gets enough energy to break the bonds. Similarly, all other molecules will turn into liquid state at 0 degree Celsius. When entire ice turns into liquid, its energy starts increasing again as the heat is continuously provided and at a certain temperature water it starts boiling what is boiling point then the temperature at which liquid turns into gaseous state water it boils at 100 degree celsius ethanol boils at around 78 degree celsius we need to understand one important point over here is that Whenever the state of the substance is changing, when I say changing, it means it is a continuous state. That is, the process is going on. So, whenever the substance is still changing its state, its temperature always remains constant. What does that mean? Suppose I am having 100 molecules of ice taken in a bowl. First molecule of ice melts at 0 degree Celsius. Unless and until 100th molecule turns into liquid, temperature will remain 0 degree Celsius and it will not change. When 100th molecule of ice turns into liquid, from that moment of time, temperature of the substance starts increasing further. Similarly, if I have 100 molecules of liquid water, First molecule of water evaporates or boils at 100 degree Celsius unless other 99 molecules does not boil, the temperature remains at 100 degree Celsius and it does not change. So, an important note is to be made here, during the change of state of the substance, temperature remains constant, it does not change. Now to represent these phenomena on a graph, we have a concept called as heating curve, wherein we represent how the substances behave when we continuously provide heat energy to them. Please understand the graph. We have shown time on x-axis of the graph and the temperature of the substance on y-axis. I have considered substance ice at the start. So the graph is for ice turning to liquid water and then turning to water vapors. You can understand the initial temperature is minus 5 degree Celsius. When I take this ice out and start providing energy to it, its temperature goes on increasing at time T1, temperature reaches to 0 degree. Now after this, you can see the line has run on x-axis, but it does not have any rise on y-axis. 
meaning the line is parallel to x axis what does this tells me it tells me that there is no change in temperature on y axis from the time frame t1 to t2 this proves my point over here that when ice is still melting the temperature will remain 0 degree celsius and it will not increase further let's say at time t2 all the ice molecules have turned into liquid now from time t2 the temperature will start increasing further 0 degree celsius it goes on increasing from 0 to 50 to 100 at time t3 it has reached to the temperature 100 at that temperature first liquid molecule turns into water vapors that is gaseous state from the time frame t3 to t4 again the line is parallel to x axis explains that there is no rise in temperature from time t3 to t4 again it proves the point that when liquid water is still boiling means there are some liquid molecules yet to be boiled off the temperature will remain 100 degree celsius it will not increase further post 100 degree celsius or you can say post time t4 temperature starts increasing the heating curves explains the points to us that the substances continues to have same temperature during the change of the state there is one more point which we will mention over here and it will help us in our second unit that is purity of the substances you can see in the graph that the lines are having sharp edges over here this is the identification of pure substances as pure substances they have fixed melting and boiling points so they have sharp lines on the graph if it would be any impure substance this edge would be a curve and not a sharp turn i hope you have understood what is melting point boiling point and heating curve of the substances thank you